who dare stop our glorious Majesty the Queen from doing what? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for your company today. Hope you're all keeping well. Keep those comments coming. And of course, keep telling all your friends, share and like, we're building this community and it's all thanks to you. And of course, thank you so much as ever for watching, it's truly appreciated. And I do like the fact, as I often say here on the show, that you enjoy some of the topics that we choose to discuss. And as ever on the show, we also tell you that they are first and exclusive. Whenever you read them and you see the fact that we're quoting remember you could have seen it here or heard it here first but back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day well as we all now know sadly her majesty the queen had to spend a night in hospital last week for just a basic simple test apparently she'd been overdoing it a little bit of stress and of course a person who really uh, should be taking it a little bit easier at that wonderful age of 95 years old i don't know about you but and i don't know if you heard this story but she recently turned down an award uh, for a magazine called the oldie and basically they wanted her to become the oldie of the year I love the response from our gracious majesty because she basically said, oh, it's a very nice you know, offer, thank you so much, but perhaps give it to someone more deserving. Now, <laughs> I just kind of think, what a ridiculous idea to suggest to any lady of any age that they want the title Oldie of the Year. I mean, truly, wake up. But back as ever to the story that is breaking over here. That's simply because, as we now know, Her Majesty the Queen has got a very packed diary moving forward from the late October into November. But she doesn't want to relent and let people down. Now, what's happened, we can tell you first here on the show, is His Royal Highness Prince Charles, alongside the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, have been to see Her Majesty about sort of tempering some of the engagements that she wants to undertake. Now, the big climate change engagement, of course, COP26, is the one that everybody wants her to attend. She is the star power of that event. Make no mistake, everybody wants Her Majesty the Queen to attend that. Not because, of course, it just adds star power, as I say, but also the fact that she, alongside other senior members of the British Royals, have proven when they did the uh, similar event down in Devon, Cornwall, that, you know, basically people just want to see them. They are the draw. But Her Majesty the Queen has been advised, let me tell you, to take some of the engagements out and slow down. But she doesn't want to do that. Now, you can imagine, you have to feel sorry for Prince Charles and Princess Anne because, well, I don't know, Princess Anne's a little bit more terrifying, but Prince Charles particularly would not want to cross his dear mother. Likewise, Princess Anne would even temper her fiery temperament in dealing with Her Majesty the Queen. They've offered to take on some of the engagements themselves, but so far Her Majesty, on a more serious note, is saying, no, I don't want to stop, you know, I want to keep going. Now, as I've said here many times on the channel, I truly believe this is what's helping keeping Her Majesty, well, you know, moving forward after such a difficult year. However, who dare tell Her Majesty the Queen that basically it's time at least to slow down for a little while until you get your breath back. It appears while Prince Charles and Princess Anne have had a go, it now may be left to the wonderful Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, because they have a very close relationship and apparently it's said that if Duchess Catherine was to have a quiet word, perhaps our glorious Majesty would indeed listen. Back to you, Catherine. Neil Sean in the heart of London.